In this tutorial, we'll learn how to delegate the signing of an agreement. Now, there are two methods that you can use to do this. Let's take a look at the first. You can delegate signing if you are signed into your eSign Services account by going to the Manage tab and then selecting the document that is waiting for your signature. Then double click the document to open it as you would do if you were going to sign it. And then up in the top left of your screen, you'll see the Options drop-down. So click on that and then choose Someone Else Should Sign. So here you can enter the email address of the person you would like to delegate signing to. And you can also include a message for that person. When you're done, click on Delegate. This sends an email to the delegated signer asking them to sign. Now, an important note is that until the document is signed by the delegated signer, the original signer can still sign it. So you can see here that even though I've delegated the signing of this document, it's still available to me in my waiting for me to sign list on the Manage tab. Additionally, if the delegated signer signs the document, the original designated signer also gets a copy of the signed agreement. So the second method for delegating signing is available in the email notification that is sent to a signer of an agreement. In the email, there is an option to forward the agreement to a party authorized to sign. So the signer clicks on this link and then goes through the same process as we saw before, entering the email address of the person you'd like to delegate signing to along with a message and then clicking the delegate button. An email notification is sent to the delegated signer and again the original signer can still sign the document until it is executed. When signing is complete, a copy is sent to all parties.